Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you will, hit the bell icon and you can be notified of new videos right as they come out. Today I have for you a Tom's Studio pen. And this is also on loan. And it is on loan from my friend who is in my fountain pen club. And um, she was trusting me enough to loan it to me. And I'm pretty excited to have this. I actually was kind of a little bit afraid to have that, but this box is so, so cool. And um, it says, made to inspire creativity, craft, and individuality. I don't know if you can see all of that. It's very cool. But uh, first I thought it was like stars or something, but these are just like, splotches and then it says at tom studio and then tom studio dot co dot uk so this is the box very unique because it slides out like a like a match stick you know like matchbook um and so very cool case now the pen is very neat i wish you could feel how heavy it is uh but it is pretty darn heavy and the reason why is because this is all solid brass um, it is brass with a cork on the end and so when i saw it i thought hmm very interesting design um, it is like a matte finish so it's very smooth to the touch it reminds me of my diplomat pen kind of that uh, aluminum type of a, a feel but this is really it was kind of throwing me off so my my friend watched me kind of figure this out. And yes, that is the cap. Um, however, this is the holder for your desk. Isn't that smart? So uh, it is a very, very cool looking design and I, I really uh, appreciated that. So let me come back to that. And inside uh, it says, uh, pull me and unfold for instructions. So again, very unique way to have this. So it says, blessed are the flexible for they shall not be bent out of shape from Robert Lidlam. And uh, anyway, and then it has Tom Studio and uh, some signatures. And then it says uh, information like push the ink converter into the pen grip, ink cartridges, you can use that. Number two, dip your pen and twist for the converter and then three uh, nib starts writing like that and then explains what train tracks is and happy writing and then also uh, for trips uh, trips tips or advice you can email them straight and on their website it actually says you can um, you can actually contact them and that his wife Gemma is the one who replies back to the emails and I thought that was kind of cool because it's a very mom and pop but still is producing some of these uh, neat pens so this is the first time i've ever really had any kind of an experience with tom studio pens and so uh, i thought that was kind of neat so inside uh, there really isn't anything to write home about it looks like just a plastic kind of a a seal or a cap there's no threads in there that i can tell i don't know can you see that Let's see, let's zero in on this guy. Um, but like I said, pretty thick piece of brass with an inside cap that has some kind of cuts in there. And then uh, I'm sure it's to like set that in. And then here is the nib and it size wise looks like a number five, but it is split all the way down, which indicates it's a flex. And so the uh, the nib also comes to the side, looks like a plastic feed. Uh, so again, not really um, anything big to write write about. Um, but we'll we'll see if it is something big to write about or not. Um, so it has a converter. You cannot. I don't believe you can eyedropper this, but I could be wrong in that. But I like that the threads are kind of all the way down, so that it doesn't interfere with the grip section so that's actually very nice the pen itself is fairly light um now so it, i don't think that you're going to get much fatigue uh from writing at all so i don't know what that is but 
we'll figure that out. Okay, so I am actually going to dip this instead of, um, uh, well, maybe I will fill a little bit of the converter. Let's let's do that, shall we? I really want to see how this thing writes. So today I have a uh, Waterman um, Inspired Blue ink or Encre Blue. And so we are whoa, going to write with that. See, and that's why I cannot be trusted with people's pens, apparently. But thank you to Cheryl for letting me test out your lovely, lovely pen. So we're just gonna draw up a little there. Just enough to get the nib wet. And good thing I did all this in my kitchen because there's a towel right there. Let's get that and try this out. All right, get you out of the way, get you out of the way so that I'm not knocking you about. Oh, it would be helpful to get this back on. All right, and I am out of focus on the other, but we are going to do some writing samples on my terribly crummy paper pad. And so I like that because, you know, I pretty much use crummy paper for most of my pen writing. And, and the reason why is because I'm writing out grocery lists or just jotting down little phone notes or whatever. And no, I'm not going to use like, you know, Claire Fontaine or anything amazing like that. So let's, let's uh, start writing with this. So this is in, oh, yes, that went again. So all right, uh, Tom's studio, and this is, oh, I didn't even tell you what kind of ink, uh, what kind of pen this is. This is called the Sumi pen, and it has a flex nib and I'm going to flex it in just one minute. Sumi is, uh, ja it's like Japanese ink and uh, that's the name of a Japanese ink. I use it a lot for calligraphy with my dip pen or pointed pen. And so uh, Sumi ink is made from like burnt plants and it's kind of almost like a charcoal-y type of an ink. A lot of times it's sold in bars or like sticks and you just kind of add water, you crush it and add water to it. And uh, this is called a sumi pen because of the, it's again used in Japanese calligraphy and also just calligraphy in general. So I am flexing and this is really holding up on the ink flow very nicely. It's very, very smooth, surprisingly smooth. All right, uh, so the ink is Waterman. Inspired blue. All right, and then a writing sample. I'm actually quite surprised at this pen. At uh, for writing with flex, it's it's doing an incredible job. So I'm gonna just do a little bit more.
very pretty. Nice pen. I'm I'm actually quite surprised. So in Flex, you'll see that on your downstroke, you um, have thicker. And then on the upstroke, you can write thin. So with L's, up, thin, down, thick. And then there's the railroading right there. So on side to side, it's it can go pretty thin. So very, very nice. I love it when you're like pleasantly surprised because, you know, one of the problems is that you cannot find a good flex in a fountain pen because that's just a hard thing. And Tom Studio, a little bit of the history behind them is that his wife actually does pointed pen calligraphy or dip pen calligraphy. And so he started like doing some of this stuff on his father or father-in-law's machine and made her something that was not like plastic or something along those lines. So very sweet story to it. Okay, let's see. Okay. And I'll do some fast. Pretty nice. Really holds up very well to the the fast as well. Now I do have to tell you, I I'm not positive, not hundred percent positive that this pen is still being made. However, before you get mad about that, um, they do have several other pens that have this kind of a nib, a, a flex. So you can check that out. One that they're advertising like right when you go onto their website is uh, the Lumos. So again, I was not very familiar with this at all, but um, I just think it's kind of cool to check out new pens and see how they behave. And um, I'm always looking to see what I can do with fountain pens that flex, because that is, I think it's kind of everybody's desire. Well, everybody who kind of wants to write in this way. This is so nice. Okay, a little wonky at the end there, but that's just my handwriting and not the pen. So um, it's it's actually, again, a kind of a nice surprise in terms of a flex pen. And so um, if you are interested in checking out a different type of a flex, why don't you give Tom Studio a try? And again, 
They have several pens and several nibs to try from. If you are in the States like I am, you will be paying for, um, you know, over international shipping. So that is just a, a concern. But, you know, other than that, it's it's not so bad. And it is a boutique brand. So I think it's kind of nice to support and try out something that is different and new. And um, now on this Sumi pen, I, I, you heard me knock over the, the brass kind of holding piece. One of the negatives that I can see right away is that you would not be able to travel with this. Uh, well, I mean, you can travel with it. It's just that, you know, you've got this kind of heavy brass thing. And I'm guessing that that's probably why they don't sell it anymore because they have um, kind of lighter versions of this kind of a pen. So uh, my advice is just check out and see and then do some research and, you know, see if you like what you see here but the nib is kind of surprising to me because it is holding up and you know staying up with the writing especially the squiggles so this is tom studio sumi pen and i uh, hope that you like this video um, if you did would you please hit the like button and also uh, subscribe because i am going to be doing some more pen reviews as well as ink reviews and a lot of times I use these pens and inks for art. So if you would like to know more, uh, would you just leave me a comment and also tell me if you're familiar with Tom Studio and what you think of the pen. And until next time, bye-bye.